Little Big Planet is a wide, wondrous world, the denizens of which are always on the move. Playing, collecting, adventuring. A moment of reflection, however, begs the question, how did this all get here? The mischievous sack people are not just residents of this wacky world, they also help to build it. They are natural architects, who love to create when they're too pooped for play. The sack boy is empowered by his puppet tool, a fascinating adaptation of his seemingly magic wand. Through the puppet tool, sack boy can get to his goodie bag of tricks. Observe as he pops it and instant goodies. This bag houses many types of cardboard, metal, stone, and wood materials like wood. Each material has its own physical properties. Stone is obviously much heavier than cardboard, Sponges can be gripped, whereas most materials cannot. There are also some rare elements with strange special properties, like buoyant bubbles. This sad girl is building platforms out of dark matter, which will float indefinitely as if to say Isaac Newton was full of hooey. Creating objects and shaping shapes is fast and fun like Michelangelo chiseling away at stone to uncover the David hidden underneath. The sack boy will carve, scale and rotate his materials to his liking. The most advanced creators will make full use of items in their tool bay. Sack people love to tweak out motors, pistons and propulsion devices, creating some very cool rides. Another one of the wondrous possibilities made possible with the tool bay is the ability to trigger things to move, emitters to shoot, and explosive things to, well, explode. Without supports, items will observe the natural laws of nature, although they can be temporarily suspended in mid-air through the pause command. But what if Sackboy makes a mistake, you may ask? Well, sack people can rewind or fast forward accidents away. In order to create a truly exhilarating experience, an element of danger must be present. Handpicked from the periodic tables of the elements of danger, sack people can lethalize objects, setting them aflame, charging them full of high voltage electricity, or simply letting out some killer gas. The sack boy will also make use of pre-made enemies, or whip up some fresh bait ones. It's up to the creator to define the enemy artificial intelligence from aggressive to apathetic, or just downright pathetic. Before it's time to play, final touches are added, including the addition of stickers and decorations. Even using the PlayStation Eye for a special touch of flair. The level is almost complete. Sackboy places his spawn points, starting and ending gates, and checks his hair. Now the fun part. Sackboy invites his friends over to go wild in this newly created world. In addition to playing together, the Sack people can also work together, simultaneously rebuilding and redesigning these ever-expanding worlds. Bravo! On our final visit to Little Big Planet, we'll show you where these completed levels go as we observe the act of sharing the Sack people communities. <laughs>